Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, this is your host, Setro Psycho, bringing you another Setro Gaming video of PC versus console. Now, you, I never originally thought this was going to be a popular series, but um, uh, I guess I thought maybe I could continue because there is a lot of discussion and a lot of stuff going between it. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and see some terrible Incredibles gameplay. Yes, that's a throwback on the Xbox. But anyways, um, essentially, today I'm going to talk about the hardware. Now, you know, I could go on about hardwares on both consoles and PC, but the main discussion of why PCs and console gamers always talk about hardware is because it's power, it's, uh, the PC's, uh, able of upgradability. And that's in course for consoles too, but I'll explain what I mean in a bit. Um, but coming from a PC side, what that is the number one most selling point of a PC besides the games and everything else is that it is the console platform that is the most upgradable and the most, um, I guess you could say customizable to a player when it comes to hardware. So essentially what I mean is, yeah, sure you could buy PCs. But mostly, most PC gamers usually end up building their own PCs or getting an older PC and adding different parts to it. And that is a really big selling point because if you really think about it, which I will explain later of, about the consoles, is that you don't have to wait 8 or 9 years to upgrade your quote-unquote console because, um, you know, with PC, all you have to do is just throw in a slap in another graphics card and you're done, you know, and it can be every two years, you know, just depending uh, what kind of graphics card you start off with. And, you know, the reason why a lot of people usually start low anyways to the PC is because the point of PC is they will save money. And it works. You buy your graphics card, you play with it for a good eight, maybe a year, eight months or maybe a year. And, you know, after that soon, you know, you upgrade it, you sell it and you trade it in for another one. And there you go. You, you know. You upgraded, you know, you just practically what it takes eight years for a console to do, you just did in a few moments of just trading in besides the whole eight months. And it is a big advantage, you know, it's what really makes the PC, uh, well, the PC, you know, what? it's what really makes it popular. It's what really makes, uh, draws people to it because why are they going to have to wait, play, lack, play the same games on their PC but with great, and I mean great, uh, quality of graphics, you know, like it is such an upgrade compared to consoles, you know, depending on the graphics card you use. So that's the main point of the co of a PC, but consoles, yes, you do have to wait every eight years, but you know, some people feel like, why should we have to spend money? And I see where they're coming from, you know, why should we have to spend money to, uh, you know, uh, buy a new graphics card when I can just buy a console and you know all I have to do is just I get to play for eight years straight eight nine maybe even ten years and the next thing you know um uh you can uh you can upgrade your console um to the next generation which is smart it's it's you know like it's a money saver uh besides the games and online stuff which is a different story but essentially you know, you're just buying a console, playing the games, keeping the same hardware, and then, you know, years down the road, after you save the money, you already have the next console bought like that, you know? And so, it's a really big topic that a lot of PC and consoles gamers always discussing, like, you know, and honestly, to be honest, I'm not disagreeing, I'm not saying that console gamers are in the wrong, but in the agreement of this... You know, I try to stay unbiased as possible. I'm always trying to be in the middle because I love my consoles and I love my PC. You know, I cannot do without both. But in the end, essentially, PC has this win. You know, I, you know, so far it's been a tie. But as of right now, PC is just, it's, it's, you know, like, it's hard to explain it. But, you know, PC is the one that you can always be ahead, one step ahead of the gaming uh, you know, like, they're the pretty much leading the gaming charge, if that makes sense. Like, you know, during the NES 1980s era, when the NES was barely getting into the 8-bit consoles, you know, PC gamers were already going into, you know, 16-bit uh, graphics. And then, like, towards Super Mario Bros. 3's release, while they were playing that, you know, 
you got people on the PC already enjoying a copy of Wolfenstein 3D, like the earliest of 3Ds, you know, so the PC gamers are always one step ahead, you know, they're always in the lead, they're always in front, and that's just a fact because they're a lot more powerful, you know, they're able to keep up with the demand of technology. Now, back then, consoles, it made sense what they did because technology was kind of moving slow, yeah, like, the hardware itself can always upgrade, but the itself would pretty much stay the same, but now we're at the point where Today, it's good. Tomorrow, it's worthless. You know, I remember the Sega Genesis when it came out. It was, like, really considered good for its time, even when it came out. Now, you look at Xbox One and PS4. Before they even released, they were already considered outdated when it came out to when it came to hardware, you know? And it's just, that's how technology moves. And PC gamers, you know, they were already one step ahead before the consoles even came out. And so, it's just, honestly... I see where console gamers coming from, and if you're a casual gamer, then yeah, I would recommend a console because you save money besides the whole games and stuff, but, you know, if you're really trying to go in for that deep, same games, but great quality of, of graphics, I would recommend PC, especially since my last video, which I'll put a link in the description below for it, and a card or annotation should be here, you know, you can use any controller for it, so, you know, there's no excuse to, like, not go PC if you're really hardcore. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave, a li please leave a like if you did. And if you don't like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe for more etc. Gaming. And as always, thanks for watching and get her done. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true, baby let the light shine through If you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through For you